Ah, hello, and welcome to the Freedom Show. This is the daily show featuring 10-minute, practical, usable advice from amazing, heart-centered lifestyle entrepreneurs. It's not just about the money, it's about the freedom. I am Ryan Lee, your host, your teacher, your mentor, your coach, and the founder of Freedom.com, the leading online education platform for freedom-minded people just like you. And if you want a free special gift, I've taken 15 years of my best business and lifetime income strategies and condensed it down to just three pages. All you have to do is go to freedom, F-R-E-E-D-Y-M dot com and you could download it there or if you prefer, text the word freedom, F-R-E-E-D-Y-M to the number 33444 and it's yours. Now, enough of that nonsense. Here we go. We've got 10 minutes on the clock and my special guest today is Brian Grasso. I've known Brian now for, I don't know, 12, 13 years. He's been one of my most successful students, but I, he's not really my student. He just, just takes information and just runs with it, has built multiple seven-figure businesses in the fitness industry, and just started a new program, a new site, a new certification. Uh, and it's the site is the Mindset Performance Institute. And in just seven months, he is minutes away from making this a seven-figure business. So we are going to figure out today how the heck he does it. Brian, so happy to have you here, my man. Are you ready for your 10 minutes? Best intro ever. That was awesome. <laughs> That's all it is. I am all intro, Bri. Uh, <laughs> all right. Seven, uh, almost seven figures and just about all profit. You guys work from home um, in seven months. Lay it on me. Uh, well, you know, first of all, you know, you said I was one of your most successful students ever, and then you retracted it, but you lied. I am, because <laughs> I listen to everything you say. No, I mean that. I've been listening to everything you said since 2003, Ryan. You, you have been a huge catalyst to my success, and it, it just it did my heart so good to watch you go into freedom.com, because this is you. This has always been you. You are amongst the most relationship-oriented, heart-centric people I've ever known in business, and quite honestly, uh, Mindset Performance Institute, MPI, it is really just a climax of all of that. All the things I've learned from you. We we really we reduce the anxiety of big time launches. We don't really get involved in mega sales copy and and manipulative tactics. We really don't have funnels that are based on one qu- uh, one click convenience or you know down sells. I don't even like to call them down sells or upsells. To me, they're just opportunities. We're providing opportunities for people. But the heartbeat of how we've done this is, I guess, twofold. Number one. We've, we pay very close attention to where the world or the industry is sitting. Okay, that, that's one thing that every entrepreneur has to understand, that I, I'm not really a youth expert, even though I was founder and CEO of the International Youth Conditioning Association, and I'm not really a mindset expert, even though I founded and CEO of the Mindset Performance Institute. What I am is I'm very intuitive and I listen. I, I really have two ears and one mouth, so I listen more than I talk. And I pay attention. I look at stats. I look at worldwide trends. I look what people are saying in my industry or other industries, depending you know, where what industry I want to work in. I pay attention to the problems. I start to conceive solutions. But what I really do more than that, Ryan, is I, I align myself with a, what I call TOMA, top of the mind awareness. Okay, That's what really the problems are. That's where really the problems exist. So when I say problem solution, every entrepreneur, every Success coach teaches that. What's the problem? What's the solution? But we have to splice it because what you think is the problem is not necessarily what the prospect or customer or person in that industry recognizes as the problem. So you have to internalize them. You have to read between the lines and appreciate with this you know, all of this stuff you're looking at, stats, data, worldwide trends, TOMA problems. You have to align yourself with what really could be the solution. So that's number one, mindset is the absolute undeniable need in the fitness industry. Everybody knows it. When I announced it, it was like a big aha light bulb went off in every single fitness professional in the entire world. But no one was talking about it. Mm -hmm. They recognized it when I started saying it. Because we all know in the fitness industry that retention and attrition is a huge problem. We know that we have all the information about nutrition and exercise in the world, but we can't seem to get customer and client compliance in place. That's a mindset issue. So that's the first part, right? The first part is uh, problem solution Toma. Pay attention to all that stuff. The second part, though, is just some direct learning from you. Um, I actually care about people. 
And I mean that so <laughs> sincerely. What what a horribly like boring thing for everyone to listen to right now who wants to know my secrets. My secrets are I really care. My secrets are that um, I, I randomly have my managing director send me a list of 20 people's names every month who, who join MPI so I can call them just to say hi. Um, I randomly have her send me 15 to 20 addresses every single month just so I can write a card that says thank you. But it's not a strategy. It's not a tactic. It's authentic. It's real. I want to thank the people who took their time, their money, and their energy to join this organization. I want you know to use personal correspondence that I've had with that person in actual conversation with them. Uh, so I can actually write in a card, you know, you mentioned to me your son said this and blah, blah, blah. But again, it's not strategy, Ryan. It's honest. It's real. It's authentic. I actually care about people. And I I know it's not like, wow, that was a lightning round of what a great, you know, what a great thing I just learned. But truly, I think more entrepreneurs need to care like that. They, they need to understand that we live in a very vicious competitive time. There are so many options, so many opportunities, and so finite amounts of time and money. People who come into your programs, they should matter to you above and beyond just the transaction. So here's the big question, and you know, Brian, I'm, I'm on board 100% with that. Absolutely no – I mean, it, you're right. The question is someone who's either starting from scratch or someone who's been there spinning their wheels and they just get no traction. Um, give me one – Thing, one meaty tactic that can get their, get them in front of the people, that can start getting people into their world so they can offer their products and services to take better, better care of them. Well, interestingly enough, the two things I just said are probably my biggest tactics, and let me just expand on them based on that question, Ryan. First of all, if, if you don't really know what's keeping your clients or your prospects up at 2 o'clock in the morning, what their stresses really are, but you're writing sales copy about your solutions, then you're talking to no one. So that's, I mean, you really do have to internalize. That's the question I always ask myself. What's keeping people up at 2 o'clock in the morning? In the fitness industry, mindset is nobody's solution. Nobody was laying you know, awake at 2 a.m. thinking, golly, if I just had a better mindset program, then my, my fitness business would take off. Right. But what fitness professionals are staying awake at 2 o'clock in the morning and thinking about is how do I make this business sustainable? How do I, how do I stop trading time for money and have systems that work that mean I can expand my business, expand my revenues, and serve more people. And so when you start to match what they're really stressed about with your solution and put it in terms they understand and they can relate to, well, boom, you have traction. It's automatic. Um, but then my second piece, if you don't mind me giving you two here, Ryan, is exactly what I said with regards to the phone calls and the, the, the handwritten cards. Um, I think we've become enamored with the World Wide Web, and I think we have for good reason. It's a beautiful thing. I think when it's used for you know for for the purposes of good like batman then it's a beautiful thing like you know you can connect people all over the world etc but i think we also got lazy yeah. i think we got very lazy and very content just to put up funnels and good well designed sales copy and you know one clickers and we we just kind of think that everyone's going to and ryan man beauty on you for that months ago you wrote a blog about why you hate the term tripwire yeah. and why you call it the welcome mat like exactly like transactions happen in the heart right so for me if I'm new or if I can't find traction I get off the World Wide Web or at least I get off the World Wide Web in terms of thinking about it in, in, in relates to making money or creating transactions and I authentically start to connect with people I really do I mean I create a list or I create a database of people who I know uh, who I who I knew but I don't have relationships with anymore and I just start talking with them and I, I reach out to them and I let them know what's going on you would be so ridiculously surprised how many customers and referrals you're going to get just by reaching out to people with a text or a phone call or a handwritten card or an email or a Facebook message. Stop making this about you know strategies with sales copy and funnels and one clickers and start being a real person. People respond to that and transactions happen in the heart. One of the best quotes on the Freedom Show. You heard it right here. Transactions happen in the heart. And we're going to end on that because I really don't know how to top that one. I love it. Transactions happen in the heart. Write it down. Put it in front of your computer, wherever you are, and reread that every day. Amazing. Brian Grasso, 
Mindset Performance Institute, MPI. Check it out. Um, if you're looking to become certified as a mindset performance specialist, I mean, there's really incredible stuff for fitness professionals. I think it's good for everybody. Uh, again, yes. Mindset Performance Institute. And this is Ryan Lee. We are signing off for today, but you know it. I'll be back tomorrow. I am here seven days a week. Come on, baby. Seven days. I don't stop. Brian, do you think I'm ever going to stop? Never. Okay. Exactly. You better not. I, I not keep st- learning from you, man. <laughs> I'm just getting started, baby. Uh, as always, if you enjoy this, you can subscribe for free on iTunes for a new episode every day and all the positive reviews and comments. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. Have an amazing day. Take care. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.